Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons. I believe this is part 14 or 15. I think it's 15. But anyway, um, we're going to have Hazel listen to a cooking tab cast and we're going to have her make some uh, cheese steak because she's pretty hungry. And then we're going to go and get this, uh, try to get this martial arts level up to uh, level 5. And she also wants to master cooking skills, so we're going to work on that. Mm. She's got a long ways to go though and... Her cooking tab cast is going to be lasting like um, <laughs> oh, darn golly. 24 hours. Goodness. Narzi <laughs> Because it takes a while to, to get that last um, that last cooking point, that last cooking skill. But she can listen to that while she's doing her martial arts because we've got to get that to level what? five uh -huh. uh, for our as per our opportunity. And she actually has, how many days does she have left? She has... Uh, Four of six days. So we've got a couple days left to do this, which will be nice. Um, prepare a meal, which is which is what she's doing now. Well, Hazel, you just did prepare one. Oh, well, we'll keep that wish in. and We'll keep that wish in because she's going to probably end up having to come back and cook anyway. So, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. And I went ahead and had her take her, her bath um, before she um, went to bed last night, so. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and go over to the academy because we need to get this martial arts leveled up and the academy is right here. So we'll go ahead and uh, visit the academy and we're going to get on the board breaker. Now, she's still at level 3 martial arts, so we're probably going to have to keep her on the foam board so she doesn't hurt her hand. Oh, Hazel, why are you eating canned soup when, when you made your cheesesteak? No. We're going to go to the academy. You don't need canned soup after you had your cheesesteak. Although that didn't really fill her up. I don't know. Alright, so here we go. Oh, I should have had her come back and get the... I should have had her get the gifts well. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's stop. Let's stop and then let's go ahead and get the gifts real quick. Because I know that we have some. Yeah, and then we'll go to the academy. So let's come back and we want to go ahead and um, accept the gift from a friend here. Yeah, we might as well get this taken care of before we go to the academy. All right. Got a few. B-L-M-U-Y-O-T-I. Blumoyoti? I don't know. Uh, I love your generations, LP. Well, thank you very much. We have, uh, we have the permapalm, so we're going to go ahead and send something back. Go ahead and send back a. Boy, she's got a lot of stuff in her inventory here. Let's do a surprise gift box. Okay. From Purple Beatles fan. We have um. We have the Stubberman. Well, it's it's a painting. Stubberman and the Gypsies. Okay. Yes. We'll go ahead and send a gift back. Okay. So there's for you. Now, I do want to see if uh, Carol the Pirate sent us something because I did promise her that I'd send her a gift. Let's see. I'll just scroll down and see if I can find something from her. Okay, we, I don't have anything from her right now, but, uh, oh, and it looks like I may even have some repeats of, of stuff I've gotten before, but I will send her something back, um, you know, I will send her something back whenever I can here. Uh, let's see, Moose, Moose Bear 41. 
this is Moose Bear 41 or Sims 3 Gamer 41. Thanks for thanks for asking question the other day. You are awesome. Well, I think they had the question that they asked me, but yeah. Um, the Modern Orchid. All right, so let's go ahead and send something back to them. We'll go ahead and send back a surprise gift box for them. And, all right, so there's there's for you. Uh, Death Bell 87. This is this is for the potted perennials. I uh, hope this gift will come in handy in one form or another. Or she said, yep, yeah, thanks for the potted perennials. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and send... Uh, okay, we have the Roman coffee table. Thank you very much. So we're going to go ahead and send her one back. Um, um, let's send her back a... How about a supernatural elixir? And let's see, we're going to say thanks for the... Oops. Thanks for the coffee table. Hope this elixir will come in handy and that it will be something your your sins can benefit from. Okay. So here is for Death Bell 87. Okay. Uh, we have gummy bears. 1355. Love your videos. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And from them we have the, um, okay, we have a stereo. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and send something back to them. Send them a surprise gift box. Okay, there we go. Uh, Samantha Rose, 2012. We have the built-in message from the game. Um, we have a, we have a table lamp. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, can't send anything back because I'm at my limit. Um, a team, Chris, a team, Chris, or a team, Chris, we have the table. The, we have another table lamp. So thank you very much. And I wish I could send something back to you, but I'm at my limit. Uh, lovely star 4002. Love your LPs. Hope this is a good Hope this is a good potion. All right, so we're gonna get a supernatural. Uh, we have we have invigorating elixir. All right, thank you very much. And I can't send anything back right now. And I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and save this very quickly because um, when I get the little picture, the pink little picture like that, it means I'm gonna. Um, I think it means I'm gonna crash here. So let's see what happens after we save this thing here. Okay, so I think I'm gonna. So then we're we're pretty good right now, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and save the rest of the gifts for another LP that I'm doing, so that other families can go ahead and benefit. So thank you guys very much for all of that. Um, very very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the academy now. Um, this is the academy, and we're gonna go ahead and try to get this martial arts le uh, skill level up here. <laughs> She's on her little broom. Now I think when she gets to like level four or five, we can probably up the up the board instead of doing the foam board. And I want to see how she does with the foam boards. And then like if um, if she gets pretty consistent, then um, you know then we can switch it over to the uh, over to the the wood board. So uh, here is the academy, and let's see where we can let's see where we can practice here. Or no, actually, I think I sent her to the Scholar's Garden. Okay. Yep, I think I sent her to the Scholar's Garden. So we need to go back over here to the Academy. Um, yeah, we need to go back to the Academy because we've got to practice. I sent her to the wrong place. And it's kind of easy to do because it's next door. And if you just, if you do this, like, very quickly, then, um, you know, then that's easy to do. But we'll go to the gardens after we, um, see, it didn't really take her that long to get there. But we'll go to the Scholar's Gardens after we get to level five, which is what we've got to try to do here. So let's go ahead back. Okay, let's go ahead and work on this board breaker right here. We'll go ahead and practice and let's do a, um, we better do, we better do a foam board yet. When she starts getting pretty consistent with these, then, um, then we'll switch over to the balsa wood. Hey. 
All right, Hazel. That looks like she's in an orange belt or a... Yeah, it looks like she's she's in kind of a, an orange belt. All right, Hazel. Taja? Taja? See, she's, she, she still kind of gets where she can't always break them. So, you know, we need to get to level four or five before we can switch, before we can switch boards. Come on, Hazel. And we're halfway to level four, it looks like. So we've got like a level and a half to go. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, there really isn't much for me to do while she kind of does this, you know, with the, oh, full moon, so we're going to get a freaking zombie that's going to spawn up. Oh, boy. But I don't think she's going to get to level five until after the full moon is over because she's going to get fatigued before she gets to level five, probably. So we'll ha probably have to do our, it's probably going to take us like a couple of days to get our level five. Yep. So come on, Hazel. Come on, Hazel. There we go. Silly zombies. And we can't meditate until we get to level five anyway, so yeah. All right, Hazel, we can do it. Come on, Hazel. Let's see, she wants to um, improve martial arts skill. Now, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and switch the prepare a meal out to this one. Any friendly introduction to the young? Uh-uh. So we've got two martial arts things here. She wants to improve it, and then she wants to reach level four. So um, that will kill two birds with one stone when she does that. So, um, And then she also wants to master her cooking skill. Hey, come on, Hazel. It's getting dark already. It's 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 so amazing how quickly the days fly. It's so it's so amazing how quickly the days fly in this in this. You know, it really is. Come on, Hazel. Come on, Hazel. Well, at least the zombie didn't spawn up behind us. Okay, so she's almost going to be at level four. We'll just keep doing this until she gets fatigued. Oh, gosh, and she is, she is kind of hungry, though, and bladder. I thought I got steel bladder for her. Stone-hearted. Oh, my. I got her stone-hearted instead of steel bladder. Well, I think I have enough to get her steel bladder because that's what I wanted to get her anyway. Uh, yeah, I, you know what, guys? Be careful what you hit. As Landros always says, because I meant to get her steel bladder and not stone hearted, but oh well, <laughs> that is okay. The steel bladder, I think, is only 10 uh, lifetime happiness points. Because, you know, I kept wondering, like, why was her bladder thing going down? Because I knew that I'd gotten her, you know, I, I knew that I wanted to get her steel bladder. So there it goes, it's going up. Um, you know, I knew that I wanted to get her steel bladder. And it's, it's like, okay, the bladder's going down. I don't understand. So, but that's why. <clears throat> I got her stone-hearted instead of steel bladder. <coughs> but we got it taken care of now. And now she's only back down to 15,000-something 15, 15, lifetime happiness points. <coughs> we could actually do no bills ever as well. That's a nice one to have. Yeah, that's kind of a nice one to have is no bills ever. 
which is I think 15,000. Let's have a look here. Yep, no bills ever. That's a nice one to have because, like, if you if you forget to pay your bills and stuff, you know, and her hygiene has gone way down. So, come on, Hazel. So she's about to get there. Maybe one or two more boards, and she'll get there. Let's hope she doesn't get fatigued. Let's hope she does not get fatigued before she gets this done. Because I do want her to get to level. I do want her to get to level four right now, at least. Gotta do, gotta do, sing Jabaga. Somebody's watching. Oh, ah, oh, Hazel. Oh man, Hazel. <laughs> I really wanted you to get to. <clears throat> I really wanted you to get your skill improved. Well, guess what? Let's go back and and uh, take a bath. We'll get to. Actually, we can take a shower here, and then we could actually just, <clears throat> just go out to the cafe to eat or something, and then we could uh, then we can go back home and read some books or something. So, uh, let's see. <clears throat> Hazel, you go and take your shower here, because it. I like to take the shower instead of the bath sometimes because the bath can really take a long time to do. Oh, <coughs> <laughs> <Borsalosa>. <laughs> Come on, Hazel. Somebody's playing chess. Mm. Can't she not use that one? Uh, get out of there. Come on, move out of the way. Because we need her to use it. All right, Hazel, get in there. Get in there. Or somebody else takes it. There we go. <clears throat> How long is she going to be fatigued for? All right, she's going to be, let's see, well rested. Okay, fatigue for seven hours, just lovely. Well, actually, I think we'll send her home. We'll get something to eat. <clears throat> actually, she can eat. Let's go ahead and have her eat one of her dried food here. She can eat one of her dried food, and then that will fill up her hunger. We can go home, and um, we can... We can actually maybe read a recipe or two here. <clears throat> Let's just have her eat a morsel of this. Oh, we could give her a potent invigorating elixir and then she won't have to sleep, which will be good. We can, we can do some of our, we can get some stuff done. Let's have her, let's have her take, um, Let's have her take her potent skill elixir and see what, you know, see what that does. See what kind of skill she'll get from this. If we're lucky, she'll get either cooking or martial arts. See what she gets. Okay, a few, so many skills. Let's see, blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, Hazel got a piano skill, which is okay which is all right. Let's go home and I think we'll read a recipe and see what we can do here. Because if she takes her invigorating elixirs and she won't have to sleep, which will be great. We could actually have her play with some magic as well. Maybe get, then she can do like a um, hunger charm and bladder charm and all that. Well, actually, she doesn't need the bladder charm because she has steel bladder now, but she might be able to get, uh, I don't know. I don't think they can do an energy charm, but it does take a long time to level up a witch. It really does. All right, Hazel, you, you just, you play with some magic. Yep. You play with magic. Depsel, uh. Rooney, gosh, a ploof. Okay, so she's gonna get uh, 
Eventually, I'd like to get her magic hands, and then she won't need a wand. Nuthis, Tubalark, Chuga Yiba Teva. Okay, so she's not listening to her cab cast right now. Still gonna be fatigued for five hours, but I think what we're gonna do is is we're gonna take um, our invigorating elixirs and stuff, and um, then she won't need to sleep. But we'll do that close to when she's not going to be fatigued, and then she'll be able to have a lot of uh, time to do her martial arts. Okay. Because we've got a lot to get done on this trip, and we've only got like a couple of days left, so... And those beds are so cheap that if we can get away without having to sleep, that'll be great. That will be awesome. Borp. F. Corbo Badoof. Tubalark. Okay. Yeah, because we've got a lot Tuga to get done. We got a lot to get done while we're on this Tubalark. trip. So, um, if I can avoid having oh, to sleep, buddy. I will definitely do that because those beds are just so cheap anyway. So, so cheap anyway. So, we've got another invigorating elixir plus a potent invigorating elixir. Borp. And we're on five to six days. So we could actually, like, when she starts to. All right. Let's see if she has. Uh, how much longer is she going to be fatigued for? Four hours. All right. Hazel, how about you just read a recipe on your multi tab here? Actually, let's have you listen to cooking and then we'll have you read a recipe off of here. Uh, let's see. Okay, how come how come I still have this classic magic wand for her? I want this to be her preferred wand. Yeah, make preferred wand. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to cooking again. Because she does want to master this cooking skill, so we're going to do that. About a uh, potato and truffle torte. And then she can read tri-tip tofu steak. And eggs Machiavellian. And hopefully by this time she'll not be fatigued. We can get some of these recipes out of the way and we'll put that on speed three while she does that because we've already seen how that is to read here. We'll keep an eye on for when this is uh she's gonna be fatigued for three more hours. 12 hours for a tab cast here. Okay, so she'll get these done. Okay, there's that one. Okay. Yeah, I know, just, just do it. Okay, I don't think she's fatigued anymore. Oops. So after she gets done, she can drink the potent invigorating elixir, and then that will that will definitely get her thing up for a long time. And then we'll go back to the academy. Come on, Hazel. I know you're sleepy, but it's you're not going to be sleepy for long. Not for long. Mm -hmm. Yep, drink it. <laughs> All right, so there it goes. It's going on up. That's it. All right, Hazel, let's eat another one of your little morsels because I don't think we're going to be going into another tomb on this trip. And if we need to, we, we can always, if we need more of these, and we can always go back and do that. But um, I want to save as much time as I can so that we can get our skill up wow. here. So you oh. eat that. Oh. Yep, eat that. There you go. Your hunger's all the way full. So she's got seven hours to listen to her tab cast. Uh, potently invigorated. And that's going to be for 24 hours. So she's not going to need to sleep for 20 more, 24 more hours. Sleep is for... Sleep is for weaklings. Hazel is feeling... 
Hazel is feeling superhuman and won't be and won't be slowed anytime soon. Okay, so yep, so she's um, she's very good to go until you know for 24 hours. So let's go ahead and go back over here to the academy. Um, click on the right one this time, and we're gonna get this martial arts skill up. Totally true. And I'm just going to leave the wishes as they are so that we can, um, yep, I'm just going to leave the wishes as they are so that, uh, we can get those accomplished, which will be great. Okay, Hazel, come on. So she's in very, very good shape. And if we need to do some, uh, hygiene, then we can always take a shower there at the academy. Okay, so here we go. All right. Now let's find a board breaker so that we can practice. There's one right here. And we need to go ahead and uh, we're going to practice on a foam board again until we get our skill up. She's got to go back down the stairs, but at least there's not going to be too many stairs. All right, so we can get a lot done with those invigorating elixirs now. And we've got the potent one, so uh, she won't need to sleep for quite a long time. Okay, martial arts skill to level four. Very good. Okay, so she can do tournaments now. Okay, so she feels like running a marathon. She's bursting with energy. So let's see how much she can accomplish without uh, without the need of without the need of sleep. So she just she learned eggs Machiavellian. Machiavellian. All right, so we've got one more level to do with with martial arts here. All right. All right, Hazel, we can do it. All right, Hazel, we got a lot to do today, girlfriend. Okay, so we've got, uh, okay, so she wants to break 25 more boards. Good ingredients for tri-tip tofu steak. I don't think so. Uh, beat someone at a ranked sparring match. We can certainly try to do that as long as we're here. And that'll help get our level up as well with the with the tournaments and sparring. All right. Oh, she's got uh, athletic skill to level three. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now I've disabled the uh, memories and online notifications to see if maybe that'll kind of help with my crashing a little bit. And I mean, so far I think it's done a little better, but I'm still crashing, but at least I don't have the, uh, cause sometimes the notifications and stuff can get a little annoying. So I don't have that anymore. And um, I can still, I can still take a, I can still take a screenshot like that. So yeah. Yeah. I can still do that, which is good. See, like that. Okay. All right, so she broke her boards. Wow. Um, work out until fatigued. All right, Hazel, how much longer we got to go? We've got a little bit to go here. All right, Hazel. I hope we can get I hope we can get her level up before she gets fatigued. I really do, but we'll have to see here. 
she's doing okay on these boards. Improved martial arts skill. Hazel. Taja. Taja. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Get friendly introduction to. No, we're not gonna do that. Play with magic. She wants to do as well. So we'll do. We'll have to do that. Ooh. She's got her cooking skills mastered. All right. Okay, so she just improved her cooking skill to level ten. She's she's mastered every art of the of the culinary world. Okay, so check the cooking journal. Blah 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 blah. And I'm gonna save this very quickly so we don't have to mess with that again. Holy smoke! Yeah, I like to try to save my game after a big milestone, um, or you know, every so often because just in case this crashes and. You know, then if I have to kind of play up to where I was in the LP, then, you know, I, I don't have to go quite as far. So we're going to save it. And, um, yeah. So she did good. Hazel, you done good. Hazel, you done good. Okay. So she is uh, fatigued. And we're going to have to send her up for a shower here. Yep, Hazel, you go and take your shower. She's smelly. <laughs> She's gonna be fatigued for eight hours. So I think we'll see if we can try to get her um, magic skill up while we're waiting. Cause her energy isn't down at all. So she's doing good. Okay, so she's still doing her little song here. Yeah, we'll see if we can get her magic skill up a little bit. Might as well do that. Uh, Hazel, you play with magic. Try to get away from the TV a little bit, but yeah. Okay, there we go. So we're getting, um, that, gosh, that was only worth a hundred. Okay. So she still wants to beat someone at the sparring match and improve martial arts skill, which which we are going to try to do here. All right, Hazel, we need to try to get your magic up, too. Absolutely got to do that. So I'd like to get where she can do the hunger charm and everything on herself. Yeah, so... Okay, Hazel, can you do it again? Do it again. Dabsha Buwang. Mesha Dufna Miska. Yep, Hazel, we gotta keep this up for quite a while. She's looking for another six more hours, having a blast, fulfilled, squeaky clean, totally invigorated. For another 16 hours. So we'll have her keep doing this until we get, because um, it, it really does take a while to level up a witch. We'll put that on speed two while she does that. Okay, Hazel, you're getting there. You really are. You're getting there. Cue up another one for her. Yep. I'm bound to determine that I'm going to get this skill leveled up here. Okay, 
is going to be fatigued for another four more hours. We're still at like five something p.m. here. There you go, Hazel. Okay, Hazel, we're going to do it again. Nope, we're not going to listen to fairy story. We're going to play with magic. Because we got to do this until we get your thing leveled up because we've still got to go back and do this martial arts. Oh, buggy. To now. Right, we're going to leave that on speed two. Come on, Hazel, you're almost there. You're almost there. Oh. Oh. All right, Hazel, one more time. Play with magic again. We're almost there. And I know she's hungry. I do know that. But if we get this leveled up, then we can actually do this hunger charm. Unless, unless this is the one where, um, where she can magically upgrade stuff, but I thought we got there already, so we'll have to see. Come on, Hazel, you're almost there. Alright, you know, we're gonna have her eat one of these high-quality food here. Again, <laughs> we can always go back and get more if we need it. Well, actually, she said an apple. She can go ahead and eat her apple and then uh, play with some more magic. Yeah, you eat your apple. Oh, ooh, oh. And she's fatigued for 49 more minutes. Come on, Hazel. We're almost there. Almost there, Hazel. Almost. Okay, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Play with magic again. We're bound and determined. I'm going to get this leveled up. I really am. <laughs> Come on, Hazel. All right. Okay, so she's increased her magical abilities with... Okay, so she can do Fire Blast and Ice Blast. Play with the elements carefully. Okay, so I guess she doesn't really have... Uh... Okay, she wasn't quite ready to do the hunger charm and stuff. Well, okay. Uh, how much longer? Okay, I don't think she's fatigued anymore. Oh, magic power waning. Okay, yep. Having a blast. Potently invigorated. Okay, yeah. Um, she's like halfway down. So we're going to have to go back down and let's do the board breaker again. Because we're going to get this martial arts skill leveled up. We really are. And here's your good luck board breaker. Practice with a foam board. So we'll let her finish this up because playing with the magic, you know, we'll definitely um, get to. Uh, we'll definitely um, drain them of their powers. But when she goes to sleep and stuff, and even, at, you know, even when she just doesn't do any of that, then her powers will, um, then her powers will come back, so. And when they go down and when you have them play with magic, they will do that for a shorter and shorter amount of time, I think. So, yep. Okay, vacation will be over in one day. Well, we've got to get this martial arts leveled up so that we can complete this opportunity. All right. We're getting there, Hazel. We're getting there. Break 50 more boards. Cast a fire blast spell. Huh? 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 
Well, if we improve the martial arts skill and um, break these boards and stuff, then we'll do pretty well. Come on, Hazel. There we go. We're going to put that on uh, speed two, because how many times have we seen this already? Okay, so she's doing pretty well on these foam boards. I want to get her skill up before we switch over to uh, wood, though, because I don't want to hurt her hand, because if I hurt her hand, you know, if we hurt her hand, then she's kind of out of condition for a little bit, and we've only, we don't have much time left. Her social is, like, halfway down. And she's got seven hours to be potently invigorated. So we've got time to do this. All right. Okay, we're almost there. Come on, Hazel. There we go. She wants to break a space rock block. Well, we'll put that on there. It is worth, um... It's worth a thousand lifetime happiness points, so we'll put that on there. We'll put that on there. Come on, Hazel. We got a long way to go before we can break space rocks, though. Come on, Hazel. Well, all right. Let's go ahead and take a shower again. <laughs> ah, Hazel, Hazel. She's smelly. Fatigued for eight hours again. Oh, joy. Joy, joy, joy. Hazel, <laughs> go take your shower. So we can read some more recipes and stuff while we're at it. And I'll probably just go ahead and end, um, maybe end this part pretty soon here. Um, let's read. We'll just read some of our recipes on the, on the multi-tab here. Um. Porcini risotto, she can read that. And she can just sit down and do this. We could work on our logic skill, too, because we've still got time for, you know, the elixir here and all that. So, yeah. So after she gets done reading that, we can read something else. This takes a long time to get this opportunity done, especially if you're... Uh, uh, especially like um, if you if you uh, let's see tri-tip steak especially if you didn't have a high martial arts skill to begin with and you're spending a lot of your time getting that leveled up Ooh, hazel we better have you eat something too but anyway guys I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the part here because um, we've been at this for quite a while have her eat a morsel we've been at this for quite a while and, um, you know, we've not really done too much exciting, just, you know, the um, martial arts stuff. And, um, you know, for the opportunity that we're trying to do. But, yeah. Um, how many times have we seen that before? See, so she can eat that and then she can read the, the uh, tri-tip steak. And, um, you know, how many times have we seen that before? But, uh, yeah. So... In the next part, we'll continue what we're doing, and uh, we'll try to get this martial arts skill leveled up. Maybe we'll have a tournament or something, and I'll probably have to give her another, um, you know, just a regular invigorating elixir, because I want to try to get where she doesn't have to sleep at all during the rest of this trip, which will be great, um, because then we can get a lot more done. We can get a lot more done, so... Um, anyway, uh, in the next part, we'll do a tournament, I think, like I said, and we, we will definitely try to get that skill leveled up to level five so that she can go and meditate, which will be a good thing. Um, cause I, I would like to get this opportunity done before we have to leave. So, um, anyway, you guys have a fantastic day. Favorite and like this video. Subscribe to see more of the series, plus any of the other series that you're interested in that, that, uh, that I do. And, um... 
leave a comment. Tell me oh. what you think. Give it a big thumbs up. And uh, we'll talk to you guys all later. Have a fantastic day. Bye, guys.